Tesla Cam. I hope you're satisfied. Edward was driving his Model 3 in Las Vegas, Nevada. Watch what happened right in front of him when he was stopped at a red light. He jumped out to check on the driver who had rolled into him. She was injured and in shock, and there was also an injured dog in the cab. She ended up being taken away in an ambulance. Fortunately, the driver of the white Toyota was fine. After saving the Tesla cam footage, Edward shared it with the police and all parties involved in the accident. The police were super impressed and thankful for it. The driver of the car that hit him called several months later to ask for a new copy of the footage. At that time, the investigation into who was at fault hadn't been settled yet. She still believes she was in the right and is suffering physically from the accident and planning to sue the Toyota driver. Her insurance only gave her a few hundred dollars to replace her older Subaru. Edward isn't sure whose insurance paid for his repairs, but they cost 2,500 US dollars and it took a week for him to get his Tesla back. This clip submitter was driving his Model 3 in Auburn, Washington. Autopilot was engaged when traffic slowed to a stop. A motorcyclist behind him had plenty of time to slow down, but it looks like he panicked instead. He locked up his rear brake, lost control, spun 180 degrees, and crashed on a narrow shoulder. The submitter watched it all in the rearview mirror and took over from autopilot, moving his Tesla forward and to the right as the motorcycle slid toward him. The driver behind him stopped to make sure the motorcyclist was okay. In this section of the highway, the submitter says there's not much of a shoulder to pull onto since Jersey barriers are very close to the road. Aaron was on his way to work one morning in downtown San Diego, California when he overtook a Chevy Silverado that was indicating for a right turn. The street the pickup driver was planning to turn down was actually a one-way street though, so he couldn't turn. Instead, he continued forward and got behind Aaron to turn at the next street. At a red light, the pickup driver rolled up alongside Aaron. Initially, he thought that maybe he was an enthusiastic Tesla fan, so he rolled down his window in case the stranger wanted to say something. It turned out that the pickup driver felt that he'd been cut off by Aaron, and he was upset that Aaron had slowed down once he had gotten in front of him. Confused by the accusations, and motivated by the strong odor emanating from the man through the open window, Aaron decided to remove himself from the situation. The pickup driver then attempted to aggressively cut him off on the following corner, almost hitting a pedestrian while doing so. After reviewing the footage, Aaron realized that the man may have been under the influence of alcohol as a small liquor bottle fell out of his car when he opened his door. Carl had stopped his three-day-old Model 3 at a red light in Fremont, California when this happened. The only thing Carl remembers is that he woke up in the hospital. He had lost consciousness during the crash. He filed an insurance claim and the total repair cost for his Tesla was 15,000 US dollars. Luckily, all he had to pay was a 1,000 US dollar deductible and his insurance company paid for the rest. The car is now as good as new. Carl is bummed that they chose to repair his Tesla rather than replacing it, but he's also happy that everything got taken care of in the end. We're pretty sure he's also happy that he survived. Ryan was driving his Model S in San Antonio, Texas when a pedestrian pulled a gun on the driver of another car while using a crosswalk. The pedestrian had the right of way thanks to the walk signal, but the driver of a pickup truck with a left turn arrow evidently disagreed. The pedestrian then pointed out that he had a walk signal and the driver of the truck started to get out to try to intimidate him. That's when the pedestrian drew a pistol and aimed it at the driver who promptly got back in his truck. The pedestrian then continued on his way, but the pickup driver decided to re-engage him for some reason before getting back into his truck. The pedestrian then got on his scooter and took off, and the truck peeled out and pulled a U-turn in pursuit.
we promised an update to the story that unfolded in the Nashville shooting video in which Thomas was shot at four times while driving his Model 3 on I-24. Unfortunately, the story doesn't seem to be unfolding at all. The suspect is still at large. Police have found that the vehicle wasn't reported stolen, but is located in North Carolina. Supposedly, the local police checked the last registered address, but they didn't find it there. Thomas says he hasn't given up. The idea of this guy going unpunished drives him crazy, along with the thought that his kids could have been in the back. With his tinted windows, the shooter wouldn't have known. It's estimated that the doors will take three to four months to come in, so Thomas replaced the window motor and lock mechanism with used parts from eBay and is now driving her with stickers covering the bullet holes. Thomas thanks everyone for the supportive comments and for getting the word out to help him find the attacker. He hopes that social media will prove more successful than the police have been so far. Jason was driving his Model 3 in St. Charles, Missouri when he noticed a biker weaving through traffic in his rearview mirror. When the biker passed Jason, he was so occupied with giving hand signals to the driver to his left that he rear-ended the SUV in front of him who was turning. Bill was driving his Tesla in Yorba Linda, California when an SUV driver pulled up alongside him, rolled down his window, and started screaming at him. There was a lot of finger pointing going on before he pulled in front of Bill. When he did, Bill tried to move away from him, but the guy kept blocking him. Finally, Bill was able to get past him. He filed a report with the California Highway Patrol and sent them the video. Juiced was charging his Model 3 at a fast charger along a highway in the Netherlands when a wild pig appeared. Juiced said it looked like he had escaped from a nearby restaurant. Another EV owner who was also there charging laughed and took some pictures of the pig. It was a real mood lifter at the charging station. Juiced stayed in the car, hoping the pig wouldn't come too close or damage the one-day-old Tesla. After a while, the owner of the pig showed up to claim him. Juiced heard him say it was a pet pig who had decided to stretch its legs. This is our first video from Puerto Rico. PJ says that Puerto Rico currently has around 900 registered Teslas. Tesla started direct sales in Puerto Rico via their website at the beginning of 2021, and in the spring they'll open their first local service center. PJ says that they're expecting a boom of Teslas because they don't have to pay taxes on EVs or hybrid cars. There's a supercharger in the San Juan area and another one under construction for the West area. PJ imported his Model 3 privately last year and he loves it. Here we see him driving in the city of Manati on the northern coast of Puerto Rico when he suddenly had to swerve for an iguana lying in the middle of the road. When he got home and watched the Tesla cam footage, he noticed that it was actually two iguanas who were getting very friendly. PJ also shared this video in which his wife had parked in the San Juan tourist area. Sentry Mode caught this tourist and their fluffy shoes. He says this was a first as it's not very common to see winter footwear in the Caribbean sun. Darren captured this footage of a drunk driver swerving into oncoming traffic several times. He called the police and gave them the license plate number. Police finally made contact with the driver when they found him asleep behind the wheel in his driveway with the vehicle still running. The driver was arrested and pled guilty thanks to the video. Getting caught behind the wheel by the police didn't help his case either. Early on a Sunday morning just after midnight, a silver Lexus NX had parked in Auntie Dizzle's assigned parking spot at his apartment complex. 
Unfortunately, it was too late to contact the leasing office to call the owner so they could move it. He had no choice but to have the car towed since he needed to park his car for a couple of days. A few nights later, a man appearing to drive the same Lexus that had been towed away parked his car, got out, and kicked Auntie Dizzle's Model 3. He contacted the lease office and they said that they had identified the culprit. He filed a police report, but the only thing they did was call the vandal to give him a warning. Unfortunately, Auntie Dizzle couldn't press charges because there wasn't enough damage to his car. He says that was due to the attacker having weak street fighting skills. Paul was visiting Frederick, Maryland. He was driving around Baker Park when he saw a man riding a high wheel bicycle. Paul's kids suggested that he send us this clip, telling him we need more funny videos on Tesla Cam stories. They figured it would help lighten up everyone's mood after seeing so many horrible accidents. We're about to live up to our reputation because here comes an accident video from Roy in Sunnyvale, California. He was waiting at an intersection on the Lawrence Expressway in his Model Y. That's when a Jeep ran the red light and T-boned a Model X. The Tesla owner quickly got out of his car and started walking back and forth, talking on his phone. We're glad he walked away from that one. It could have been much worse. It was quite the impact, but the Tesla still didn't flip over. Tesla claimed in 2018 they couldn't manage to flip the Model X at all during internal crash tests. This video demonstrates that clearly. Speaking of Tesla, this next video was actually sent in by a Tesla employee. After 20 million views on our channel, this is actually the first time we've heard anything from anyone over at Tesla. We decided to keep him anonymous just in case Elon or someone in the legal department doesn't like us. We asked him if he'd heard anyone mention Wham Bam around the office. He told us that he actually does hear about our channel from time to time. We can check that off the list. Tesla knows we exist. Now let's hope they don't find a way to sue us. He was driving home from Southern California when he came across a car headed down the wrong side of the road at over 70 miles per hour. It narrowly avoided several head-on collisions. He isn't sure how the driver managed to get on the freeway headed the wrong direction. Adam was driving his Model 3 to an appointment in Houston, Texas when a trailer unhitched from a truck and hit the back end of a semi-truck. After the impact, it almost looks like it centered in the lane and was about to just keep on trucking. Then it seemed to remember it was just a trailer and proceeded to lose control and slam into a concrete median. Michael sent us this video taken when his wife was driving their Model Y home from the gym in Raleigh, North Carolina. It was pitch black outside and she was driving on a street with very few street lights. That's when she crossed paths with a speeding Model 3 that crossed the center line to avoid hitting a jogger. The jogger threw herself off the road to get out of the way. At the same time, the Tesla driver overcorrected and contacted the shoulder, hitting a drain pipe that caused the car to stop perpendicular to the road. The jogger reported the incident to the police, who told her that the Model 3 belonged to the driver's mother. This next video is from Natalie in California. She's become a frequent submitter to the channel and she has a theme in her videos, police chases. It's like she's living inside a Michael Bay movie. This time she and her husband were driving their Model S home at around midnight when they suddenly found themselves in the middle of a street race that the police were trying to shut down. Natalie uses an external dash cam, so here's the video with her and her husband's perfect voiceover track. Listen to that insane engine sound. You can't make that up, even with Tesla's boombox feature. This is, this is a meet. The cops are getting everybody. Good move. Good. Yeah, good call. 
Chris had parked his Model 3 outside of a grocery store in Riverton, Utah. When he came back, Sentry Mode had captured footage of what looks like a possessed cart backing out of its stall, turning around, and attacking his Tesla. Luckily, there was only minimal damage this time, but Chris now lives in fear of what his phantom attacker will try next. This Model 3 owner found some broken glass near the BMW i3 parked next to him, and when he reviewed his Sentry Mode footage, he found this. As usual in this type of clip, we see a man who doesn't know how to pull his pants up. He walks around the BMW and looks in the windows before smashing one and stealing a backpack. Dean and his wife were taking a canoe trip in Minneapolis, Minnesota. With the canoe strapped onto the roof of their Model 3, they backed out of their driveway. Dean says he feels bad about rolling through the stop sign here, but this was because they had just noticed a mouse who had come out of the canoe. Dean had his wife try to capture it since she's more of an animal person, but her attempt was unsuccessful. It crawled back on top of the Model 3, and eventually it gave up trying to run away and lunged at her. No mice were harmed in the making of this video, and they both had a good laugh. Mahdi was waiting in his car in the Bronx in New York City when he suddenly heard a loud bang and his side mirror disappeared. It turns out this was the result of a hashtag Honda bump. A Honda driver tried to go around a turning car, but he didn't realize he had a Mitsubishi to his right, which pushed him into the parked Tesla. Both drivers stopped on the side of the road and exchanged information. Mahdi is still waiting on an estimate to repair his mirror. Philippe was driving his Model 3 in Quebec City, Quebec, Canada. It was a very icy morning, but he didn't let that slow him down. Here we see him sliding back and forth, and it almost looks like the wind is pushing him around from time to time. Eventually, he caught up with a TV van who was struggling even harder. That was a pretty nice save from the driver. Philippe gave him a thumbs up as he passed him. Pete contacted us to ask if we knew that his wife had come up with the idea for Sentry Mode. The story starts back in December of 2017. Elon Musk tweeted and thanked early Tesla owners for their feedback, asking, how can we improve further? Pete's wife Deirdre answered, it would be great if the cameras would switch on and record if the car is being broken into. So if the window is smashed in, the cameras could activate and record. Elon responded, okay. Your suggestion has definitely made our videos a lot more interesting. Oh Lord, won't you buy me a cyber truck? My friends I'll drive diesel, I must make amends.